Geelong is a city synonymous with wool and the wool industry for many years, and the city was known as the wool centre of the world. Simply put, a trip to Geelong wouldn't be complete without dropping into the National Wool Museum. Right in the middle of sunny downtown Geelong is the National Wool Museum. Now, while you're here, you've got to drop in and check it out. Patrick's the director here, and he's going to show us around today. Patrick, what have you got here for people? Oh, the National Wool Museum, uh, which sits on the cusp between the waterfront and the CBD, uh, an easy walk from the train station or from our partners at Port Phillip Ferries. Uh, it offers a glimpse into this place that we call Geelong and the experiences of building this uh, city and 60,000 years of human endeavour. 60,000 years summarised, preserved and displayed for all to enjoy with multiple galleries rotating exhibitions and eye-catching interior design. It's not only a space for enthusiasts, but for the curious. We are a cultural heritage museum, and heritage is the story of the past and of the future. So heritage has one foot in history and one foot in legacy. So that's where we are right now. We're a place where science and art collide, where research and exploration, hands-on doing and co-creating, that's what we are as a museum experience. There's more than meets the eye of the National Wool Museum and there's no better example of this than getting a glimpse behind the scenes with senior curator, Josephine. Josephine. Hi. How are you? Patrick Good. said to come up and have a look at your little stash of secret stuff. Stash here. of secret stuff. Yeah, and well, I, I brought everyone from home with me too, if you don't <laughs> mind. What do you got up here? Well, this is our on-site store where we keep, you know, some of our kind of smaller and very precious items in the collection. Well, what I'm particularly passionate about is our fashion collection, which is what we're going to talk about here today. So what do you got that's really exciting? Well, right here we have this fabulous fleece dress, uh, which was made for Mrs. Noelle Bond, and she wore it to the Bacchus Marsh ball in the late 1970s. It's pretty unusual and in fact I think it looks quite avant-garde and very modern today. I was, I was about to say that. What, what was it again? Avant-garde. Avant-garde yeah, at the forefront of fashion. Oh yeah, no, I oh, know. Yeah, <laughs> hey? Always. Blue and denim. So this is actually one of our most recent acquisitions and it's by um, a Wadarang artist, Dr. Diane Gilson. It's this wonderful merging of art and fashion, showing that the two can coexist in one object. Well, <laughs> you know what you're talking about. Could, could you do one of those evaluations of, you know, with the leather, the denim, the blue and the... I think what we're seeing here is classic Australiana. You're wearing perfectly utilitarian um, garments that really express, you know, the Australian look and feel. There you <laughs> go. Fashion. So if you want your outfit assessed, <laughs> head down to the National War Museum. <laughs> <laughs> In the spirit of Josh and M, I guess it's safe to say that we can tick her off. 